We all know that deep learning models have shown amazing performance in a variety of tasks. Take for example the famous MNIST task. Despite a significant variation in specific pixel values, each handwritten digit can be correctly classified by a deep learning model. You can Google lots of different architectures, ResNets, VGGs, Inception networks, whatever. All of these architectures can be trained to achieve extremely high accuracy in correctly classifying unseen handwritten digits. That's great. Deep learning really does appear to be guiding us towards a future of true artificial intelligence. Nevertheless, all is not as good as it seems. In 2015, it was shown that apparently a very small, almost undetectable perturbation added to an input can make a system misclassify. This perturbation is called an adversarial example. This paper isn't the first to look at perturbing the input, but it is the paper that kicked off a whole wealth of research into adversarial attacks. So let's visualize an attack. Usually, the system can correctly classify an image of the 5 as a 5. However, an adversary may be able to identify a very specific pattern, a noise to adjust each pixel of the image slightly, so that although the image still looks like a 5 to us, to the deep learning based model, this particular data point has moved enough to cross a classification boundary, so that the class prediction by the system is incorrect. And there you have a successful adversarial attack. We can also express an adversarial attack mathematically if we let the vector x represent any input, the y be the output class determined by the trained deep learning model f, then a successful adversarial attack means that a small perturbation delta at the input results in the output class no longer being the same, as shown. At first, you might ask, so what? Why do we care about this weird susceptibility of deep learning models to a small adversarial perturbation? Well, it is a real concern for people deploying these models in a variety of tasks. Imagine, for example, there is a fully automated spoken language assessment system where a deep learning model is used to grade someone's French speaking exam by using a recording of a student taking the speaking exam. An accurate system would be able to easily grade a student using the audio input to the system. However, a student looking to cheat may carry a small speaker with them into the speaking exam that generates a small imperceptible noise that modifies the overall audio to sound the same to a human but trick the deep learning system into giving the student a very high grade unfairly. This is an example of a targeted adversarial attack. One can easily think of many such examples where deep learning based systems in the real world could be exploited by adversaries making the deployment questionable. Hence, understanding the cause of adversarial attacks, how to mitigate them, or more simply, how to defend against them, are all active areas of research. The take home message is that deep learning systems are in, indeed susceptible to adversarial attacks, but there are various proposed techniques to identify them. So there is no need to fear for the future of deep learning based systems.